Another day in the burns unit at Rouya. Once the children have seen the doctor and have received their daily treatment, they play to pass the time. Jennifer and her little sister Shaha have been here for two and a half months. My house caught fire because of a candle. I wasn't there when it started. I saw the flames when I came home. Three of my children were inside. Jennifer and Shara were severely burned. My third child is better now. Only a short time ago, the burn unit was under canvas. It has now moved to the permanent part of the hospital, which has enabled the team to improve quality of care and living conditions for patients who often spend several months in the unit. Jennifer is Shara's big sister. She's had some difficult moments, but she's better now, and her burn injuries are almost healed. She'll probably be allowed to go home next week. Take a deep breath. There are two categories of burns in the unit. Domestic burns, often caused by poor living conditions, and electrical burns, caused by makeshift installations. People are walking in the street and an electric cable falls on them. And we've seen several cases where somebody is on a motorcycle and a cable falls down as they ride past. The electric current burns their hands and they fall off their bike. Changing dressings regularly, avoiding infection at all cost, and performing skin grafts when they are needed. This is the primary care we provide to our burn patients. Then the physiotherapist Michael steps in to help limit the after effects of the burns as much as he can. These sessions also offer children a short break from the unit.